today we are going to take a look at how to create a screenshot verification point and how we can add an additional mask to suit your needs. Let's get started. I'm using Squish for Windows and the WPF address book example application which is available in every Squish for Windows package. The script language is JavaScript, but the screenshot verification point is available in every Squish package and compatible with all script languages. For screenshot verification creation, I need to start the recording and click on Verify Screenshot. Now the IDE is back up and we could search in the Application Objects view here for the UI element that I would like to create a screenshot from. To speed this process up, we can use the green pipette tool here to just pick the right UI element. This saves a lot of time. I'm going for the main window here. Now the picked element is down here in the application objects view and I just have to click on this checkbox. Now the screenshot was taken and we can inspect the screenshot. At the bottom of the screen here we see the little red circle, which is created by every click that I perform. This shouldn't be part of our screenshot, but for demonstration purposes, I accept the screenshot like this and say save and insert verifications. And now I stop the recording. If I replay the script like this, this will likely fail due to the red circle isn't present on the screen anymore. We perform a right click here on this line and click view differences. An additional adding tool opens and show us the difference between the two screenshots. The screenshot that was recorded and the actual screenshot that was taken during the replay. As we can see here, the red circle is the difference between the screenshots. What we can do about this is click on mask and click on Add negative mask on the right side here. And now I can just mark this as negative, which means that this area, which is blue here, will not be considered for the check at the next replay. So the blue area will be ignored. I'm clicking on save and replay the script again. The screenshot comparison fails again. But why this time and what does the difference show us now? It's hard to see, but down here there is a little red rectangle. This difference seems to come from the rendering itself. So every time you start the application, this will be rendered. And it seems like that some of these pixels are different the human eye cannot see the difference, but a computer program can detect the difference on a pixel level. But what can we do about this right now? We could add another mask, a positive mask, and only define the part of the screenshot that we would like to verify, like not taking the whole image, or we could change the comparison mode. By default, the mode is set to strict, which means that no difference is allowed which seems to be too hard in this case. I'm going for a positive mask here because I do not want to verify the whole image, but just a small part of it. And I just add the positive mask here for this little icon. If I click save and I replay the script, we should have a passing verification point. To edit the screenshot, you do not need to wait until it's failing. You can open the edit tool easily by performing a double click here on the verification point file and click on edit verification point. Now we can see our negative and positive mask here again. There are many more features in the screenshot edit tool. If you want an additional video about some more of its features or the comparison mode itself, please let me know in the comments.
Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye.